What's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new player review here on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Let's take a look at the newly released second in form, Jurgensen. So, the Danish striker who plays for Feyenoord in the Eredivisie is now 84 rated. And his stats look really, really good. 81 pace, 85 dribbling, 86 shooting, 84 passing and 85 physical. As well as that, he is six foot three. High medium work rates, right footed with three star skills and weak foot. So we're looking at a bit of a beast here today. Uh, and I've got a couple of squads, as always, that you guys could place this player in. The first would be this 4 3 1 2 side. It features players from the Serie A, the Premier League, and the Eredivisie as well. But I actually played him in this four star team, uh, which was an, able to get into a daily knockout tournament where you needed four star overall. Uh, he plays up front as a lone striker, getting that chemistry link from Elia. So when we take a look at Jurgensen's in-game stats, they're actually pretty impressive. So he started out as a 76 and was boosted to a 78 with the ratings refresh. He's now an 84 rated second in form and on the basic chemistry style, as you can see, his stats look absolutely insane. However, I went down the route of using the Hawk chemistry style today, uh, boosting that pace to 88 overall with 89 acceleration, 93 shooting, including 98 long shots and 89 finishing, uh, and 90 physical with 93 strength in game. Pretty impressive then. So, moving on into the clips and the pros and cons for this player. This isn't the normal style of player that I typically review. Uh, I, I normally look at the more sort of popular leagues, you know, the Premier League and players from that nature. Uh, but... Uh, Jurgensen is a player from the Eredivisie who I thought looked incredibly impressive. Now, there are some negatives to this player. Firstly, agility and balance are definitely a huge issue for this guy. He definitely has his sluggish moments on the game, uh, that is for sure. And also, of course, having three-star skills and weak foot is definitely not the best thing. I scored this one goal on his left foot, which makes it look like a pretty good weak foot. But most of the time, it would fly wide of the post or over the bar or straight into the goalie's hands. The only other negative that I can really think of is that, of course, being Danish in the Eredivisie, they're not the most popular nation or league in the game. So you might struggle to get like a really good team around him. Um, because obviously the players from those leagues and those nations are, are slightly lower rated, aren't as good as some of the other players in the more popular leagues. But that can, back, that can be seen as a negative. But it can also be seen as almost a positive in the fact that this Jurgensen is a very, very cheap player with some awesome stats. Um, and of course, if he was a player in the Premier League with those stats, I think he'd go for a lot more coins. So what you're getting here is a real gem uh, for your coinage. Moving on to the positives then. The first thing I noticed is that I was really impressed with this player's pace. Considering he is a six foot three monster um, and also the fact that he was quite a sloppy player a little bit sluggish I wasn't expecting him to be um, So quick, it, you know once he gets going, it's really difficult to stop him. He's a bit of a train uh, You know it, it takes a while to stop it takes a while to get going, but he is he is a bit of a beast on the run uh, His positioning was also fantastic in game I played him as I said as a lone striker and he was always my target man option You can definitely whip the ball up to him and he's got great aerial ability um, Also, of course, we mentioned it briefly earlier that he's an Incredibly strong player lots and lots of strength and of course being you know towering over a lot of people He can really utilize that strength and hold off those defenders uh, which is very useful in game He's also got very good stamina, you know, he'll last a lot of the game. Of course, having that upgrade and uh, also already having a first in form, there's been plenty of upgrades to this guy, meaning that, you know, he, his stamina stat has been boosted quite nicely and he'll definitely last all game long. He did for me anyway. Uh, and then the most impressive thing about him is his goal scoring ability. What you're getting here for, uh, well, I paid under 20,000 coins for him, is someone that can bang in the long shots, as you've seen in the clips, and also is just deadly from inside the box, whether that means you're crossing it in for him to head, or whether he just gets into the box and low driven shot across the keeper, it's going to go in. A very clinical striker, I liked him a lot, and I think you're getting a complete and utter gem here, 
for the coins that you pay. So let me know if you decide to use Jurgensen, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think of him. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.